Hey everybody, this is a June update video for uh, the Sean Mayo Masterminds backend sourcing tool. Uh, so when you log in, uh, you should be all logging in at backendsourcing.com. Um, this is where you enter your user ID and password. I'm going to be logging into as a regular user, so you're going to see exactly what I see. Um, these buttons may change in the future, so you may just see a Walmart tab, um, but uh, you want to go to this tab, and you're going to see um, where you select your category. Uh, this number here, total products, this is the uh, uh, total amount of products uh, from Walmart. Uh, so, you know, we're just over 1.9 million uh, products that have been downloaded so far. Uh, and then uh, for these categories, uh, this is all the categories that are, um, are downloaded, all the categories that are being updated a couple times a day right now. Uh, but, um, you know, after we were able to get the full catalog, uh, they're going to be updated a lot more often. We've scaled back the updating to be able to pull more of, uh, you know, the actual products. And uh, we have about um, 900 categories so far. Uh, and the categories, uh, we pull the items as they come in, um, uh, the way it works. So, you know, it's just pulling the data from uh, from Walmart and then it's going to send, uh, put them into uh, the correct categories on our end. Uh, so if, an, if a category only has a hundred items today, you know, it could have thousands of them uh, tomorrow. Um, so you just select whichever category you want. Um, I'm just going to do, um, let's say breakfast bars. Um, now, your next option, uh, which we've uh, just added recently, um, is uh, if you hit both, you're going to get everything. Um, numeric only are going to be uh, only uh, numbers, which would, you know, be exact matches for UPCs. And uh, if you select the alphanumeric, um, you're going to get a string of characters that's only known by uh, by Walmart, and uh, this usually things uh, that we found that are assigned because they maybe don't have uh, a UPC or it wasn't available to them, so they assign their own uh, set of letters and numbers uh, to that item for the UPC, so uh, it's, uh, as far as they're concerned, it's a UPC and, you know, on their end. Um, you know, and it doesn't mean anything, but, uh, you know, other people who are uh, searching by UPC using this tool and other tools that are um, pulling the UPCs out of products when they're uh, scraping the website, they're not, um, they're not going to be looking at this information, uh, and other people who are only scraping the numbers, uh, pulling the numbers out using backend sourcing uh, also aren't, but if you're using a tool um, to evaluate everything, then, uh, and that one supports uh, name matches, so it'll do title matching. Um, you're you're going to be downloading the title, so uh, you'll be able to use that information to match it. Uh, and you know you probably have a lot less competition if the product you know doesn't have uh, a UPC, um, you know, in anybody's database. Uh, so I'm going to uh, select both so uh, that you can see exactly what those look like, uh, and then uh, we're going to click on search. So uh, as you can see, we we left this blank uh, for keywords. So what that means is that um, it's going to download everything. So now we downloaded, um, you know, everything in this category: foods and breakfast uh, and cereal and then breakfast bars. It's 803 products. Um, but if we wanted to narrow it down to a specific brand, specific price, um, you know, anything you see here, uh, the manufacturer, if you only want to think from General Mills or Quest, you could type that in, uh, and you're only going to get those items. Uh, so if we type in uh, Quest, we're, we're going to only see um, the 11 items from Quest. So uh, your next option, once you have uh, this loaded, is, uh, and you can look at all of these uh, products, um, you can select it however you want from 10 to 100 and go through the pages um, if you'd like to look at it. Um, or if you want to download it, what you can do is, 
um, select one of these three buttons. So the first button is uh, to download it as an Excel um, spreadsheet. Um, the second one is uh, a CSV file, uh, a comma delimited uh, file. And the third one is a comma delimited file, uh, same file, but the headers uh, have been changed. Uh, so it's going to comply with OAX Ray. So if you're using OAX Ray to process the files, you can click on this button and it's going to download them. So uh, I'm going to show you an example. We're going to download this and open it. Uh, this is a straight CSV file uh, and you're going to get all of this information. So you get the URL, you get the status, uh, which is available or not available. Uh, so far that's all we've seen. So the available means it's available on the website. Uh, since that's where we're downloading the data, the database is linked to the website, um, the, the Walmart website. Now, not available means it's sold out, not available right now. Uh, it can mean anything. Um, you know, a lot of people are ignoring these, so, you know, if you want to take that road less traveled, you may want to look at uh, the not available items and use that to go look in, in the stores. Um, and there's a lot of ways to do that. Um, and you're going to get all the other information. This is the category number. This is the category name. Uh, the seller name, which is usually just the, the manufacturer. Uh, the status, the URL, and uh, the UPC. Now when you see these numbers, these plus ones, this is only what it's displaying to you through Excel or whatever viewer you're using. If you select it, you can see that the actual UPC is up there. And if you ever want to change that, you can just click on Format Cells. Uh, change it from general to a number, and uh, your information is right there. Um, uh, sale price, these are usually the only things that you're going to need. Uh, sales price and uh, UPC. Now, as you can see here, uh, this is one of the ones I was talking about. This is uh, one of the ones that have a alphanumeric number. You're not going to be able to look this up on Amazon or any other UPC database. It's not going to find them. Um, you know, and uh, as you can see, I mean, there's not a ton of them here, and that may be the only one uh, in this file. But uh, as you can see, there, there is a lot. Um, you know, there, there's a lot sometimes. Uh, sometimes there's one, sometimes there's none. Um, and, you know, when you're looking at these, um, a lot of times you'll see these with a lot of zeros at the end. These are probably not going to be uh, valid UPCs. But again, we're, we can only give you what you're, you're seeing from, um, you know, what we're getting from Walmart directly. Um, you're getting a you know direct download from from their database. Uh, so if I take the same file and just click on the OAX Ray version, uh, you're going to see it's the same data except uh, the headers are different. This is going to um, this is going to allow you to. Uh, Download it, and then you can take this file and upload it directly, uh, you know, into the OAX Ray. You're going to be able to upload it directly into uh, into OAX Ray, and you can do that by clicking on the OAX Ray button, uh, and this is what you usually see. Uh, but if you click on Load CSV, you can browse the file and upload them by CSV, and then uh, it will process it and download it again. OAX Ray made their own. Uh, video which is great it's using one of ours as an example uh, and it's going to show you uh, exactly how to do it so and i get that get into that here some people are using oax ray or scan sheets or scan power or you know there's a ton of different tools out there uh, that you could be using um, so uh, I'm, I'm just going to show you how, how we've done it a lot of people are using oax ray so we create a button to make uh, that process a lot easier um, if you want to change your, your password, uh, you can click on my profile up here in the top right corner uh, and you can, um, you can change that. You just click this button here and enter your new password uh, and that's all there is to that. And, um, you know, that's about it. If you'd like to sign up, you can join our free, um, completely free membership site that has a ton of great content, um, shows you the tools, the software, and once you have an account, you can sign up through uh, through there. Uh, you just click on the back end sourcing tab uh, at seanmayo.com, create your free account, click on it, um, 
while it's in beta, which is only going to be for a short time, it's still twenty nine ninety seven. dollars uh, We're getting ready to um, launch it for full price. It's probably going to go up to about $50. So, um, you know, once we hit that point, uh, you know, nobody's going to get the cheaper price uh, unless you signed up. And whatever price you sign up at, uh, that's the price point you're going to stay at. Um, I hope I've answered all your questions. If not, um, I'm sure you know how to get, get in contact with me and, um, you know, we'll do whatever we can to help you out. Thanks a lot.